Hello, Saj. Thank you guys for being here. So I'm going to give you another reading today because you guys did so well on your other video. And I promise you, I'm watching the videos, you guys. So <clears throat> if you continue to support, you will have as much videos as Gemini and Scorpio on the channel. With love, with singles, with overviews. I do 24 hours. I do 48 hours. I just finished a seven-day read as well. So knowing all of that, um, I think I'm just going to do a seven days read for you. Like instead... This is what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is going to be your next seven days. Just to give you guys a little bonus here because you guys did so well. So thank you for all of you who thumbs up the video, <clears throat> who comment below, who supported your videos. Okay, so welcome to the channel. And I will have your playlist in the description always if you guys want to check out your playlist. Um, if you want to see any more videos like this for you. It will be in the description box. So let's see what's the next seven days looking like for Saj. Angels, universe, God, thank you. Saj energy, please. All right. Wow. So we have the six of pentacles. We have balance coming back in the next seven days. What else? I feel like this is going to take some time for you to adjust to this. And I feel like this is not something that you actually want, like expected. Because a lot of you are really falling into this worrying mode. Like you got worried, you were having anxiety, you needed some time for yourself. In the Four of Swords, like distance yourself from a lot of things because you're kind of worried about something. And then this, this is your first card, the Six of Pentacles. You know, whatever you've been, you know, losing or you gave away to people and they never returned it back to you. Just know that the universe is going to be given back to you in that way. <clears throat> so tell me more. Saj. Wow. You're going to feel really good really soon. I don't feel like this is going to be a long process with you being in this four of swords energy okay the ten of wands i feel like you're going to be letting go from a lot of burdens when you do come out of this energy yeah i'm seeing you closing a lot of chapters especially when it comes to financial um situation where you felt like you were struggling or you felt like you had to take up a lot of responsibility from past situations like in relationships or some of you could be living with someone and they really just had you sign paperwork or loans or trying to help them out. And now you're going to be responsible for a lot of payments, a lot of money going out of the household and not coming back in. And you kind of like tie up these debt areas and you're trying to be better. You're trying to do better for yourself. I'm seeing like you're letting go from a lot of things that you were carrying. So you could have been carrying a lot of this relationship on your back and now you're like, releasing that energy moving forward with your life okay and just not dealing with this anymore because you've been doing this for a long time and i feel like you've been by yourself even though a lot of you were in some kind of situation you know that wasn't fulfilling to you at all but for some reason because you've been doing such a good job the angels want to reward you and give you back what you have lost i'm seeing a lot of traveling for a lot of you as well in the um the world card <clears throat> you might be having a lot of Leo friends, a lot of Gemini friends as well. Aquarius, <sighs> Taurus energy <laughs> around you and within the world. Okay. And I feel like they're making your life better. Okay. Better. All right. Tell me more. It's like you're being guided. Yep, justice is on your side. The next seven days. Oh my God, good karma is coming to you, Saj. Oh, wow. People that actually were deceiving you and betraying you, look who is coming back and want to be in your presence in your life and, you know, want to just retreat from all the gossips and the, uh, the, gossips and the talking and, you know, the stabbing you in the back. Sorry about that dog, you guys. Um... I have the window open it's a nice day outside but i'm feeling a lot of retreat here <laughs> it's like karma is kicking their ass 
don't mean to curse but that's exactly what this is they're like learning and seeing what's happening here and realizing like this started when they kind of put you in a box you know lying to you making you feel very like restricted and you you couldn't find yourself without like they were trying to keep you blinded blinded from the truth Ooh. okay we have the king of wands <clears throat> And then we have the Page of Swords. There's a, a, a jealousy around you. You need to be very careful. Some kind of envy, jealousy around you because you're appearing to be very strong and very determined and very stable. And you want an empire, you know? You have that determination. Like you, You're not afraid to try new things. And you want to be very successful. You're coming off um, older than your, your, your age here. You're coming off as someone that experienced a lot of things. Like you know a lot of, um, you have answers for a lot of um, situations that you haven't even gone through. But in past lives, you experienced that and you have that knowledge within you without knowing it in this world, in this life. And you have that light. <clears throat> they seem like you touch things and it just blossoms, you know? A lot of you could be like a teacher. Okay. <clears throat> Very kind and mature energy. But this energy around you, <clears throat> I just feel like their environment is not grown as fast as your environment. It's kind of like a slower process. And I'm seeing like whatever happened between you and this energy that they're not trying to apologize to you in any form of way. But there is some kind of change here. There's a breakthrough. There is the truth. Everything is coming to the surface. And this is what you don't see. Okay. Um, this is Aquarius. This is Gemini. This is um, Libra's energy. Free, spirited, movement, action coming towards you. Okay. It's like you're seeing everything for the very first time. You're, you're, it's like this knowledge is coming to you and you're going to be at an understanding for the very first time in a long time, like very aligned. You're going to be like, wait, what? What's going on here? <clears throat> but someone is trying to be like you. And I feel like you arbored this energy into your life for a very while, for a long time and you experienced a lot of disappointment within this energy. Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus energy, Okay. And something that they're trying that they're just not being successful for. And I feel like with you being within this person's energy, it's like holding you back. It holds you back for a very long time. And I feel like a lot of you fell into this energy where you need to heal. You need to forgive this Capricorn, this Virgo, this Taurus energy. This stubborn as hell energy. Okay? They're not apologizing to you because they feel like they did everything right. They're not apologizing, okay? And I feel like you had to forgive this person knowing that and accepting that. And a lot of you are focusing on your money, your goals, your dreams, but this person is constantly watching you, being very, very quiet and calm and collective. Just know this. I feel like this person learned from what they have done, but know that their stripes cannot change. They're who they are as a person. So they might just do this again. And I feel like they did this and they kind of like, they went so far. Something about going too, too far. And this five of swords. Going too, too far. And then suddenly they switched or changed their stripes. And you don't know in the center of all of this, you still are blinded by this energy you feel like this is truly just intense a lot of you just want to go away and try something new and then in the reverse here with this page of cups you're dealing with the fact that this person was so close to you and yet they don't appreciate you enough to apologize oh wow okay so let me see what the angels want you to do what messages they're going to give you Saj um, I'm seeing Libra energy too with this justice being here and also Pisces on the very end here okay 
from the world, like I said. We have Gemini, we have Aquarius, we have um, Taurus, bull, bullhead self, and we have <laughs> Leo, okay? So <clears throat> I'm seeing like you're definitely, your eyes are open in the world. Your eyes are really just open in the world. Look at this. You know, and there's this is the eyes. Like you're truly opened. Um, like you are just like, you're not as naive as they think that you are. This is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Helpful people. I feel like you're going to be counseled, especially with your angels being around you. They're going to bring more mature people, like I said, into your energy. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Gemini, could be a, a, a Taurus here, could be a Leo that is coming to assist, okay? And all their energy, it doesn't have to be, they could be quite young in the physical, but they're so like beyond their years. That's what I'm, I'm seeing here. You're going to be like, wow, you know, that's so interesting. Like, thank you. That kind of vibe. So recovery, there's a, a calling for healing as well, spiritually, mentally, physically, and you're doing that. You're doing that, Sag. I'm seeing that energy. And also, what else? What else, angels? What else would you like, Sag, to know? Ooh, no need to worry is coming up. I haven't seen this card in a minute. The angels want you to know that they're already taking care of things because of your healing, because of you letting go. Even though you know you don't know everything that happened here, is that you're not letting this energy hold you back. You're still doing your healing and you're still letting go. You're still trying to forgive yourself first and then forgive everybody else around you. All right? Tell me more. <clears throat> oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, wow. Reconsider. So there's an energy that is coming up that is going to be conversations here. It's like I'm hearing it's not what it seems. Why well, keep saying that? It's not what it seems. And this energy... Ooh, the situation will improve. Yep. I was trying to see if there was something else, but the angels are saying there is going to be something that is coming up into the light with this energy. <sighs> let go, let God, let it flow, you guys. Don't hold on to anything, um, especially the ego. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. So let's see. Next 20. I'm about to say next 24, but next seven days. For Sag. <clears throat> Next seven days for Sag. What's the energy? What's the energy? We have protect. A lot of you might have children, but you're trying to protect yourself as well. Protect. Um, it's like you're being a mama's bear or a father's bear. It's like you're trying to protect what's yours. You know? Protect. You're holding on to something very tight. And a lot of you, I'm getting like you're trying, even being in a horrible situation, but you're trying to make the life better for your, for what you're trying to protect. It could be a child. I'm seeing victory for you. Then the star, you guys, the star, the universe is around you. The universe is, is taking their action within the situation. You're not alone. For those of you who feels alone, I'm seeing transform. Oh my God. So this is going to be a closure. Something is coming to an end and, and bringing something forth, something um beautiful it's like you're being molded you're being stronger you know um for a lot of you who feels like you know what you're stuck you you're 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 in the same situation everything is happening for a reason this is what i'm seeing you're going to find out later in life why why this is happening not quite now you're not going to understand it now but then i'm seeing can survive here so the crab is coming out i'm seeing care somebody might be really sensitive around you as well, cancer energy. <clears throat> Angels were saying be patient. Divine timing is taking place. It's like this is not going to happen when you want this to happen. Like a breakthrough, the breakthrough that you're waiting for within this Ace of Swords. You know, the truth, the justice, the 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 clarity. Um, everything is coming to light when it's supposed to. So be patient and know that you're going to have good karma coming to you. One more. Ooh, two more cards. Peace and stillness. Don't make a move. That's what they're saying. Don't make a move. Don't make a move. Okay, it's going to take a while, 
but keep doing what you want to do keep working on yourself especially keep thinking positively remain positive as well and the angels will give you sign when the time is right divine timing has to take place here this is what I have, Sag, for you. I hope that this resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Um, give this a big thumbs up on the channel to support your videos. And this is what I have for you in the next seven days. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.